Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Hi everyone, I'm Foolish Beer. Welcome to the fourth and final installment of the How to Trooper series. If you guys want, maybe I'll make a series. Maybe I'll do How to Enforcer and How to Aerial. Hmm. Actually, you know what? This isn't the final installment. Let's keep it rolling. We're gonna still do this. So, as with all classes, the most important part of customizing the sniper or specialist is its loadout. I have an NT242, but I'm gonna fit an A280 CFE because that suits my, my style better. And I have the improved shot grenade, trip mine, and kill streak infiltration. I'll be talking about that a little in a minute. So let's get right into the fight. Oh shoot, resistance. Crap, I gotta get out of here. Oh. Dang it. I keep forgetting that I have to go upstairs to survive. Whatever. Let's let, let's forget that. Um that's a difficult one. Let's go. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is start laying some trip mines. Favorite thing about a trip mine is that it can blow a whole whole squad of troopers sky high if they step wrong. I use the A280 CFE as sort of a longer range version of the A280, which is my assault weapon and my main. To be a good sniper, you have to be quick on the draw. Wired up. And a little reckless, too. That ought to do it. Okay, let's talk infiltration. So, good times to get into infiltration is when you're when you're in danger because the enemy is surrounding you, or you can't really snipe that well and need to approach undetected. But you don't want to use it if you're out in the open. Because then you should just stick to the sniper. Proximity charge ready. Where was I? Infiltration is supposed to be used as a medium range weapon. Oh well, I don't feel too bad. See, trip mine. Other guy's probably gonna get blown up by the other trip mine. So, speaking of trip mines, let's play some more trip mines. Did I miss anything about infiltration? No, I don't think so. That's pretty much it. It's a medium range weapon. Enemy sensors use like this. Heads down. Bye. I knew that wasn't gonna end well. Cause I just got carried away because like I got distracted because enemy because jerks. Actually we're jerks, we just heard our system. So I really shouldn't be talking. So, trip mines can be placed... My favorite places to place them are in doorways, because they're very hard to spy. And anywhere like, sort of like a gate area. Same, same, same sort of thing with detonate charges. Except with detonate charges, you have to detonate the man, man you will be. This is what I, why I like trip mines. You can just ignore them. And then they'll just blow up when someone comes along by. You don't have to do anything. You just lay them, and then you're on your way. See? Like that. I lay the trip mine, forget about it, and all of a sudden, I hear an explosion in the distance, and it tells me I killed someone. I love it. And the shot grenade is supposed to be used against multiple people. I like to use it to incapacitate several enemies when I need to kill a lot of them at medium range. So, like, now it would be good, but it's an eight charge, so. And try to kneel when sniping. Because when you crouch, you don't have as much recoil, which makes your shots more accurate. 
and with a sniper, accuracy is key. Oh, slip. That's not good. Let's spring into action. Got him. Okay. Don't stay close. Oh, slip. That's not good. I gotta get out. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh well, I knew that was gonna happen. Grenade prepped. Watch out. Sorry, got a little cover. I had to jump behind the wall. Seals. You don't often have to do that. So I'm just gonna do this to hide. Set. Infiltration allows you to hide. Because it reveals the location of everyone around you. It stops enemies from seeing your location. So it's a win-win. They can't see you, and you can see them. So they're very vulnerable. In fact, I know exactly where to go. What if I told you that there's a sniper right there? Oh wait, you knew, because you looked. Oh shoot, that's not good. Throwing. And that is why the shot grenade is good. You can just do that. Charge oh, sorry, that? Oh, flip! I almost got blown to heck by a trip mine. That was close. roll to the side here. Rolling is the best way of getting out of danger if you're a sniper. So you have to crowd here the time. Proximity charge ready. See? Flip. Dang it, I knew those guys would come back to bite me. Should have dealt with them on the spot. Why am I in a daze? I must not see right. Fired up. Oh flip. Oh, Whenever you lay a trip mine, always just quickly combat roll away after you've laid it. Jammer's that's active. just a tactic I like to do in case there's someone that's literally gonna right detonate that trip mine the second you place it. That's happened before and it's killed me. So I don't make so I don't make that mistake anymore. Oh flip. Ooh! Did you see where I shot that guy? Oh, flip. Whatever, it was fun while it lasted. Sniper isn't all about long range. Sometimes you have to get close. So that's why I always have infiltration. Oh, oh shoot. And a grenade. Or two. Grenade out. Or three. That was a big mistake. Enemy sensors offline. Ugh. Wait a minute, hold on. Let me deal with that. Charge set. Oh wow. All right, I see an enemy. That's going. To... See. With practice, you can snipe with quick reflexes. So the second Trap you power. see your opponent, it's dead. Grenade like. Try this next time you play as a sniper. So when you... When you are a sniper, track the time between when you see your target and when you shoot it successfully. Or you might not even shoot it. With practice, you can lock you can lock onto your target and shoot it with you. And I think we're gonna have a problem. Oh wait, no we're not. I'll just infiltrate this guy. Ooh, that was a mistake. Luckily Great. there's no enemies nearby. So I'll just regain my health, be on my way, join my squad. Stuff like that, you know. Usual first order stormtrooper sniper stuff. Um Okay, I see an enemy in the distance. So Ooh. I can throw a grenade right there. Get in behind cover, except I can't see it. Oh wait, yes I can. I can see it. And I'm going to shoot it. Ah, dang it. Only problem is the A280 CFE on first mode only heats pretty quickly. So, let's scramble. Let's go.
Watch out, let's see if I can eliminate those guys. See, look at that. Could you do that? I don't think so. Actually, if you think you can, let me know in the comments. I want to see if they're actually bluffing or not. Okay, where are they? Oh, and I see them. Got them from behind. Just like you always want to do. Enemy sensors offline. Oh, shoot, grenade! Oh, what? Throw. And I couldn't throw. So now my body's in a full body muscle spasm. What do you think? Is this good advice? How do you use the sniper? And tell me your loadout. If you have a good enough comment, then I might even make a video of me playing as that loadout. This goes for all trooper classes, assault, heavy, officer, and sniper. Thank you.